guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. We are still in the fall season. And I'm so happy. I love, 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 love the fall and winter months because I live in the desert and it's super, super hot. And um, the only break we get from the craziness of the heat is starts in fall, starts at the shoot this year. It even went all the way till just this week. We're still in the mid eighties. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we really celebrate the cooler months. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do my, um, November planner setup or flip through. And, um, I'm using a personal size Kiki K planner. And, um, I'll, I guess I'll start off with my pockets of course they're uh, decorative we just love to decorate our pockets don't we with and I'm obsessed with paper clips I don't know why especially for like the holidays I go all out with my paper clips so <laughs> there's a ton of paper clips in here if I, most of them I got from Etsy a few I got from some kits that I'll um, tell you more about inside my planner they came with like um, different types of things for my planner and um, if you want any information on a specific one um, just leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely um, let you know where I got those but um, I made this this it was a, a ribbon I guess from a Hobby Lobby and I just strung it together with beads and a little button and made sort of like a ribbon and then this is a planner charm that came in one of the kits from Coco Daisy and it's like a build your own charm kind of thing so they come with little like buttons and then you can glue them onto the backing the ones that you like so I love this one of course it says pumpkin spice anything and that's so me if you know me I love pumpkin spice so then the rest of them I just went ahead and glued them to um, a paper clip and put some um, glitter in the back. Glitter, paper, or washi tape glitter I used. And then um, this was an old transparency from one of the um, Coco Daisy kits, from the previous Coco Daisy kits, and I like to leave it there so it protects from anything that I have in here bumping each other, because I have like um, puffy stickers right here. And this one says, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So I think that's such a beautiful um, quote. And I just clip, put it in there and put stickers over it and stuff. And here's another background. Um, when the, one of the kits that I order from Coco Daisy is the dashboards. And this one's, if you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. There's some very pretty quotes and I just love the artwork from Coco Daisy. So um, the main inserts I'm using are from Coco Daisy because um, in her pack, her kits are really cool. I love the kit. And this month I'm using uh, October's planner kit because um, November to me was more springy and I really wanted a fall colors and theme for my November kit because it's Thanksgiving and I really want to use like turkeys and browns and the dark um, oranges and things like that. So I went ahead and repurposed my October kit for November. And that's what the beautiful part of her inserts is that you can um, use them. They're not dated, so that's really nice. So then I always make these pockets and I keep my receipts because I use this as a wallet as well as my planner. And on the flip side of this pocket, it, this pouch or pocket pouch is another pocket and I like to keep my stamps here and I put this little cute um, paper clip and she had a pack of these in her kit this time. I think it was an add-on with all the little woodland characters so I thought they were cute. And I love these little... Um, these are like bobby pin clips because they're so small like you can put a whole bunch in there and not like distract from the rest. So then I keep a card holder for my uh, license, my credit cards, things like that. And then I keep a pouch, a clear pouch for my um, registration and insurance. Just a little, another 
uh, acetate uh, from a previous kit. And no, I think this one was a buy you could buy from this kit, this October kit. And then this one is my year at a glance and it folds out. And I love this. This is from uh, I think Annie Plans Printables. But I love this because I work at a school district and my son goes to school as well. My other son goes to college. So we're all in different school districts and the holidays are all wonky and everybody. So I, this is the only thing I actually color code because there's just so much going on. I need to keep track of everybody's schedules in there. And then here's a little piece of vellum. And this one's from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And then my monthly layout, I use um, the DIY fish inserts for the monthly because I like that you can fold it out and you have more space. That's what I love about DIY fish. I also cut little slits in my stuff so I never have to open my rings. But this is the, um, the backside of the monthly view and here I keep my habit tracker. So any new habits that I would like to form, I keep it right here so that I can see. I need to get on some things I need, and I just decorate the edge right there. But this is why I like it because it folds out and it gives you more space. When you're um, using personal size inserts, they're really narrow. And I got one here, just a quick glance. This is the Coco Daisy one. They're gorgeous. I wish that Coco Daisy made them like this. <laughs> or I wish I could print the art onto this somehow merge the two <laughs> but anyways um this is the personal size and they're so tiny the little boxes so this is how i repurposed the um october kits for november all i did was put stickers because i like a monday start and they have a sunday start so i put stickers over the days and then i put the weekend together and then i put this side as my goals and put november up here and then change the dates but um, that's one idea that you could do if you would like to change your monthly view. Um, also, um, on this, I track everything. Like, this is my future forward planning. So anything that is coming up, anything that I need to remember, um, dates, important appointments, bills due, everything goes on here for future planning. And then I just tuck that in there. And I like to keep all my top tabs for like the year, the month, the weeks up here on the top. And then for the weeks, I keep um, month, weekly tabs on the side. So week one, week two, week three, week four. So my planner is chronological. It starts with the year at a glance, the month at a glance, the week at a glance, and continues like that. This is the first dashboard that I made. And I got this cute little pumpkin pie um, paper clip from Amelia Speaks. It is so cute. I love it. She does such cute little paper um, clay charm, like clay paper clips. I had to have it. And all I did was take some of the... Um, art and the die cuts from the Coco Daisy kit and sandwich them together, put some washi tape, stuck some papers that I got from another kit and stickers together and there you have it. And in my weekly views, it's like my budget tracker. So let me see if I can get a blank one for you. Okay, this is how I track my budget. I start off with any bills that I have to pay. I get paid bi-weekly. So any bills or things that I have to buy, I always put on the flap outside. And then on the inside of the tip-in, I keep my running balance and my all of my um, credit cards or bank accounts or um, cash or anything like that. Debit cards, I keep all the balances right here. So that way, when I'm planning throughout the week, if, you know, like say I'm writing something in or I have an appointment, I could see how much money I have where and plan accordingly. So that's why I like to do these as a tip-in. So I usually buy two, um, two of the inserts and use one on one side and one on the other side. That's why they're both dated the same. 
And then this, so you can get a full view. This was a, a, a book marker that uh, came in the kit. Isn't that cute, a little woodland? The whole theme is like woodland characters. So um, how I do my weekly um, day on two pages is, this is, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on the weekend, I do it on the back because I need more space. So I'll put Saturday and Sunday back here. And then this is just like a reminder, um, anything that I might need, but most of the time I just put um, artwork down here to make them pretty. So I always keep track of how much I spent throughout the whole day, like if I went to any spendings that I have, I put the total right there. And then I'll put like every single place, like Etsy, $10, McDonald's, $5, whatever. I'll list them right here, but the total will always be right here. And then on this side over here, I put any appointments or events that I have coming up. Somebody's birthday, I wanna send them a card. Somebody's, um, uh, like if I have an appointment, a dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, anything, a day off at work, a payday. Um, I always put it right here because um, I also, while I'm um, planning my week or, you know, my spending, I have to, uh, uh, anytime I'm planning my week, I have to accommodate to fit this money to pay for anything that I might need to buy. Like if I'm going to buy a card for someone, then I need to make sure that I have the money or cash or whatever to go shopping for you know, that event coming up. So that's how I do those. And then on the back side right here, I just keep track of any happy mail that I ordered. If it came in and I'll write down like what I bought and then if it came in, what date it came in, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything in case something gets lost in the mail. Here's another um, transparency and that's just for pretty. And then on the this is the back of the first day of the week. Here's my dailies. Um, I always put um, any goals that I may have for that week. You can also write the goals right here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it here or here this week. Um, it just depends. Sometimes I like to just decorate this and sometimes I just like to um, write them here or you can use them for lists. Um, there's so many um, different things that you can do um, with these inserts, that's why I really love them. You could like do the goals for the week, you could do a grocery list here for that week, anything that you need to make your dinners for, you could do meal plans right here. You can do um, so many different things just right here. Maybe you wanna take notes from like, if you go to school or whatever, um, you can write them down right here. Okay, but then I also have two different type of inserts in here. I have Annie Plants printables and then I have the um, Coco Daisy daily inserts. So these are daily, both daily inserts. And the reason I do that is because I need a lot of, I journal in here too. So I need a lot of journaling space. And with the Coco Daisy, there's not much for the um, journaling space for the personal size. And uh, sometimes I get really, really wordy and sometimes I don't get wordy at all, but I like to have that extra space in case I need it. So what I do is I plan my day um, chronologically again. Um, I write down any, and then any um, thing I have to do or where I'm gonna be in a time frame. And I think I have one that I can show you already done so you can see what they're like. All right, here's a good one. All right, here's a good one. So on this day, basically I woke up, got ready, went to work. It was a good day. I had, um, I picked up Del Taco for my son. No, this day I think I had an issue at Del Taco. I had to get a refund. So that way I had to make sure that I stopped at Del Taco too. Um, they forgot an item in my dinner from before and I wanted to get my money back. And then and we came home, we watched Fox and a Hound, and I basically sat around all day long that day. This is Thankful Thursday, so I never really plan anything on Thursday. I'm just really like enjoying the moment, um, enjoying the time with my family, just spending quality time hanging out with my son. So um, normally I don't have a lot of plans on Thursday. I'll show you uh, different. So that's how I do my 
dailies and then I journal on the back side. I always like to write a thankful thought. Okay, oh, so that's that page. And then this side I always write my to-dos, anything that I have to do for that day. Um, this is Make It Monday, so on this day I try to do like a crafting thing with my son or a crafting thing by myself. It doesn't necessarily always have to be with my son. Sometimes he just likes to do his own thing. He's 10 and <laughs> they get temperamental sometimes. So anyways, I just write down like to-dos for that day that I need. Anything that I need to get done. And then on this up here, the top here, I write down um, if I have more to-dos or if I have um, places to go or things to buy, um, I usually put them here. And then right here, I uh, wipe that out or erase that with the Coco Daisy inserts. You can easily take a piece of eraser like this and you just, um, I don't know if you could see that if I'm in frame, but, The ink is really, really light. She doesn't, they don't use like dark black ink for their inserts. And this eraser, I've noticed that it doesn't mess up my paper, rip my paper. So it just erases, erases really nicely. And I always put my meals, um, that I eat for that day, like breakfast. I use two lines for breakfast, two lines for lunch, two lines for snack, two lines for dinner. And then if I exercise that day, and um, I usually put like, sometimes I'll like stamp in like uh, meal prep meals or, and I keep track of my calories that I did that day. And then here, how much water I did. So it was like any bottles of water, I usually um, use one of these bottles of water. So I'll do like one whole bottle, which is actually 16 ounces. So that'll be one bottle, two bottle, three bottle, four bottle, and that's how it works. And then on the back side, I always put a thankful thought for that day. Any moment that I was really thankful for, um, anything like that, I put that there. And those are my dailies. On the back of my dailies, I like to put um, any um, Bible verses um, right here. But see, that's another one of those things. You can put the Bible verses here if you like, or you can put them right here. So there's like so much extra space on, well, especially the way I do it because I put two inserts into my personalized, personal planner because um, I do it every month. I change out my planner every month. So I don't keep them all together. The only um, extra things that I keep are the month at a glance, Sometimes I'll keep my um, month forward here, but very rarely because um, I don't plan that far ahead. The only thing I will plan is for Christmas, which will probably just be a little piece of paper or note in the front, um, like gifts that I want to get or something like that. But other than that, it's always only one month, usually only one month of planning or inserts in my planner. And then of course it starts all over again. My week on two pages, my week on one page week on one page for my dates and then I told you this is week one two three four and if there's a five I usually either add it to the front like I did this week here's the week this week was like both October and November together so I just added them right here in front of the weeks this is the first full week in November second third and then this one will go into December and then let me see this paper clip I this is like usually today I keep this here where we're at and I usually write like a list of things that I need to get done today and um, I this one pops in and out too, like everything this one I think I got from um, a recollections um, planner and um, I made this paper clip with just a regular colored paper clip and I glued on a little button. I left it blank so you could see it. I just looped the paper clip through it and put some glue in there. And that is my daily tab. And then this one, um, here's another divider that I made. These are from the Coco Daisy inserts. 
and I just put um, die cuts on there. I usually leave the blank, the back part of the divider, um, like flat or blank, so that way it doesn't rub on this. And then this one I don't really worry about. Okay, and then this little paper clip I made from um, clay. Out of, I made a little pumpkin out of clay. And I just inserted a, plant, a paper clip inside there and put a little glue to keep it secured. And then another divider, sweater weather. And then I always like to keep a blank, uh, plastic thing in here so my um, pages don't get tucked inside here and get messed up. So I'm, sometimes I keep two, sometimes I keep one. Most of the time I keep these two. I also take these and use them for cutting holes in my inserts as a template. And then this paper clip, um, they sold, they still sell, I'm pretty sure, because they had this last year, the year before I bought these. Um, this is a really pretty ribbon. I love this ribbon at um, Hobby Lobby. It's like has little gold flakes in it. Can you see it? And then I just got this um, flat back um, cobotron from there too. And then I glued it in the middle after I made a bow. And then, well, first I wrapped the bow with the gold um, washi tape. And then I put the flat cobotron in front of it and looped a paper clip through it. And that's how I got that one. I have a... Um, a video on how to do these if you want to check it out and these three um, came with one of the kits that I got from before I think it bought like a Halloween kit and got orange and um, I got this in a freebie from one of the sticker kits that I got um, these are really cute I get these custom made every month um, from uh, Billy Bell Billy Bell on Etsy and she always makes them for me to match um, the kit that I'm using. They're really cute. I love them. And then I think she included this. And then um, this one was another uh, paper clip that I made from um, Hobby Lobby. They had a bag of these little really pretty glitter leaves. So I just stuck a paper clip on the back of that. And then the notes page from Coco Daisy's kit. I wanted to show you guys these really cute, super awesome pens. Look how pretty they are. They're so fun and festive. These pens are from Tutu Sweet Snaps. Tutu Sweet Snaps. Tutu Sweet Snaps. I don't know how you say that. Oh my gosh, that's totally a tongue twister when you say it fast. But she makes these really beautiful pens. They're like pom-poms on the top and they're really sturdy. I mean, they're so cute. And this one has like little glitter in it and little ribbons. And this one has the little corn on it. And then ribbon wrapped around it. This is the one that I'm using this week. And it has little leaves on the ribbon. And there's ribbon wrapped around the pen. And then there's a cobbletron in the front. And then these little pom-poms at the top and pretty little ribbon. I just love them. And then last but not least, this cute one with the pumpkin. Okay guys, so that's my planner flip through for this month, the month of Thanksgiving. And I am so thankful for this beautiful month and these beautiful colors and these beautiful leaves. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, uh, comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye guys.